Hello everyone and welcome to a very special Friday new product post. As you can see, we're in a different venue this time because we actually have the most new products we've ever offered here at Sparkfin Electronics. We've got 470 new products. These are all from the Actobotics product line and they're all robotic products. We've always carried a few robotic components here at Sparkfin Electronics, but we've never really carried anything as big as this. The reason why we chose Actobotics is because all of these different components work well together. So you have anything from gears, pulleys, hubs, we've got some um, shafts, we've got tubing, we've got wheels. All of these things work together easily so you don't have to pick and choose from different places to make sure things work together. In addition to all these new products that we have this week, we also have a new robotics video series called Robotics 101. This will be a nine part video series that will teach you all you need to know about building robots. We're going to be covering things like gears, pulleys, belts, linear motion, angular motion, um, feedback systems and everything else. So in this video what I'm going to try and do is give you a brief overview of the entire Actobotics product line starting with the Actobotics aluminum channel. This is their 24 inch aluminum channel and they make this channel in numerous different sizes as you can see across the table here even down to the smallest one right there. All of these channels have this hole pattern along them. If we look we've got these large half inch holes and then we've got numerous other smaller holes. There is a 0.77 inch hole pattern as well as a 1.5 inch hole pattern. And what that means is if we look across all these different products, this has a 0.77 inch hole pattern which mates directly to the face of this, as does all these bearing mounts over here and also these hub mounts. The universal hole pattern of 0.77 inch and 1.5 inch makes connecting all of these things together very easy. In addition to the aluminum channels, there's a lot of other structural components that you might be interested in. If you look here, we've got this one inch hollow tubing. You can see that this is a full stainless steel tubing that is hollow with a relatively thick wall and it comes in all these different sizes. In addition to that tubing, we also have tubing mounts that can actually be used to mount this tubing into the channels. So if you're looking for structure, you can use not only the tubing, the channels, and we even have these beams over here as well. So now that we have the basic components to build the structure of our project, we have a lot of different things that will make it move. Over here we have these different bearing blocks which actually have different diameter bores for use with all these different shafts. We have anything from a very thin shaft all the way up to half inch stainless and of course you could even use these full one inch tubes if you wanted as a shaft. So in addition to having all the different bearings and the shafts, we also have a lot of different connectors to connect your servos. If we look over here, we've got pinion gears that connect directly to your servo so that you can utilize all the different gears that we have for increased um, torque and increased gear ratios. In addition, strewn across this table, we also have all these different plates that work with standard size high-tech servos to where you can mount your servo and then attach other things. If you don't want to use any gears, there are also sprockets and pulleys to where you can use a chain or a belt. And if you look across the table, we've got several sizes of belts, and then we even have chain that are sold by the foot, and you can just put the links together. So now that you have your structure, your gears, your servo, there's a ton of different wheel options that we have. We have these huge skate wheels. We also have these nice heavy duty solid wheels. And then if you're looking for something a little bit more nimble, we have numerous different sizes of these precision disc wheels. These precision disc wheels are just a thin piece of plastic that is cut with the 0.77 inch hole pattern and has a nice little rubber tire. So now that you have all those components, we also have a wide range of motors to meet your application. We have these small gearhead motors that range, I think from a half an RPM all the way up to a couple hundred RPM and then these slightly larger precision gearhead motors in larger sizes. We have far too many new products for me to talk about all of them individually. So what I would do is encourage you to go to sparkfun.com, click on the robotics category and look at all the new subcategories that we have. We have anything from servo accessories, gears, hubs, pulleys and sprockets. We have structure which would include the beams and the tubing. We have the wheels category which is an old one that we've had previously. And then we also have hardware, which will be all the screws and everything needed to connect this, which we actually don't even have shown here. There are a couple interesting pieces that I should talk about. Here and here, we have two pieces that come as a kit. And when coupled with the skate bearings, they actually provide a really easy way to create a skate dolly. So you can couple those with a one inch shaft and have 
two wheels that actually go down a dolly. We also have a couple of GoPro mounts over here that come as a kit as well that just basically snap onto a GoPro and allow you to use the whole pattern for Activotics with your GoPro camera. Usually when building a robot, people run into roadblocks like lack of tools, they don't have the right equipment. The nice thing that we like about Actobotics is you can build everything you need to with just two tools. A simple screwdriver and a single hex key is all you need to put all this together given that you get all the right screws and hardware to put it together. All the mounting blocks and everything else is pre-tapped with a 632 inch screw. So all you need to do is get the right screw and it all screws together very easily. We've been working on this project for the last few months and over the next month or so, we're gonna have more new products for Actobotic, so stay tuned. I would like to mention that the product pages have most of everything that they need, but we will still be adding more information as it becomes available to us. Be sure to check on the images on the product page to look for the 0.77 or the 1.5 inch hole pattern to give you a quick identification of which hole pattern the product uses so then you can easily see them mate together. So there you have it, the biggest product post we've ever done, 470 new products and we're even gonna have more in the next coming weeks. So be sure to check out the new robotics category and all the subcategories that we have here at sparkfun.com and also encourage you to watch the intro to robotics video, Robotics 101. And next week we'll have the next installment, which will be Angular Motion. Thanks for watching.